Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing here. How are you? I'm going to do a short video here for you. Um, I want to kind of get you up to date on what's going on with extended life baits. You know this is the creation of Paul Williams and uh, Bill Alexander. And um, I've shown you a few videos, so if you haven't seen those, I uh, encourage you to go back and check them out. Um, but uh, Bill and Paul sent me some Neds. So I have a couple here rigged up. And um, I thought I'd show them to you and how you rig them and how you can rig them. Or maybe you could come up with an idea on how you want to rig them. Um, but everybody throws a Ned now. If you ever told me that I was a jig fisherman, was going to be throwing around a 1 sixth ounce head with a bait on it and catching a lot of big fish doing it, I would have laughed uh, five years ago. But um, it works. It works. It works. Uh, when a lot of things don't. Uh, Surprisingly, this little piece of plastic works. Um, but for you guys, let's say you have never seen any of my videos on um, extended life baits, and I'll show you that again there. Hope the glare is not too bad. Um, let's say you get some of these neds. This is how they're going to come. And these baits are going to have this mesh through them, which is going to make this so this does not come off your hook. Now, in to be honest to all you guys out there, I have lost. Um, some of Bill's baits and Paul's baits. Um, that's because I've lost the whole bait in a rock. <laughs> Not because the fish ripped it off. Um, but you're going to get them like this, and you'll say, well, what the, I, I don't get it. You have the soft plastic going, uh, uh, you know, of your Ned, but you have this mesh going through there, which is going to keep that on the hook. And um, I have a couple here that I already rigged up. And these are just those, you know, those Z-Man uh, Ned Lock hooks. You know, they're, you know, any any Ned head you want to use, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, this is just a black and blue. Um, this, I believe, is like a watermelon red. Look a little black flake in there, too. Um, but what you can see, I don't know how well you can see it on video, but the hook is going through there, and then it's going to catch through that mesh, and that's going to keep that on there. Um, so... I mean, you could pull on that all day, and that's not going to come off. Um, now, you may find, because let me, let me show you this up close again. Um, what Bill and Paul have done, they're going to leave that mesh free of that little bit of top there. Um, so, that, so that that little keeper can sit there in that. Now, if it still is pulling away on you, all you have to do is add a little glue. Um, and a lot of guys for years, if you feel that pulling away from the top there, because there's no mesh there, so it may pull down a little, just pop up, you know, a little bit of glue, pop it up, and you're fine. And you're fine. But even if it pulls away from the top to there, you are never, that bait is never going to come back over that hook again because that mesh is going to hold it in there. So you may lose one in a rock. But you're not going to lose it from the bait getting torn off the hook. You're definitely not going to lose it from doing that. But um, let me just show you a couple that they uh, that they sent me. Um, here's your green pumpkin, and you can see how the mesh just goes through there. Now this one even has has more of an uh, of of a of a not mesh area, we'll say. That's your green pumpkin right there. So um, let's start with that one. Let's say you get a pack of five or ten or whatever, and they come together like this. What I would, what I do, and you can prep these the, the the night before you go fishing, the day before. Do it on the boat; doesn't take long. I just cut along the mesh in between the baits, just to separate. So let's say I want to get these green pumpkins ready to fish tomorrow. I'm just going to separate them with my scissors. So now I might have some extra mesh along the sides. Um, I trim it down usually. Make it smooth. Got a little bit of mesh there. I might trim that. Depends on how smooth you want it to be. Sometimes you could even leave a little piece there and you got like a little fin. Trim that top a little. So now I've got a green pumpkin nid. That middle part has got that mesh through it. So that's the strong part there. That's where I want my hook to go through 
because that's going to keep it on the bait. So I'm going to just use one of you. I mean, this is your standard. I think they're one sixth. I got a couple other ones here. One fifth. You know what? I'll use this one fifth one because it's got that chartreuse head, so maybe you guys can see it. All. So there's that. There's that one fifth Z-Man Nedlock. And like I said, any Ned head you want to use doesn't matter. Now as I pull it through the top, as I rig this, just like your regular Ned, but as I get a little deeper, I'm going to feel that mesh, and I want my hook to go through there. And I'm going to feel a pop. Now you probably couldn't hear that, <laughs> but it's going to pop. You'll feel it go through the mesh. And then I'm just going to cinch it up, and I'm ready to fish. Now that is not coming off there. That is strong. That is strong. If you do find, since there's no mesh to the very top, that it's pulling away from you, just use a little, you know, I've got Gorilla Glue here. You guys have any of that fishing glue on the boat? Um, whatever it is you like to use. That is going to be tight on there. The only way you're going to lose this is if you lose it in rocks. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Or let's say you catch 100 fish uh, or 50 fish and... You know, I don't want to exaggerate too much. Let's say you catch 25 bass and finally the, it's, the plastic is just so torn off that you might have to put a new one on. But it's going to last a while. It's not going to be you catch one fish and you reel them up and the smaller or the larger he goes jumping out of the water and the Ned goes flying, you know, across the lake. So it's as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that. And that is tight on there. That is tight. That is not going anywhere. So that's the green pumpkin. I showed you this watermelon red. I had rigged that earlier. Black and blue. Um, let's see. Now these ones here, I believe these are just black. Um, you can also get it, if you want to get it with that mesh all the way through, you can. Um, let's say you want to, um, you know, nose hook it. Um, you know, Bill was talking to me about some guys who do like a mini Carolina rig with these, and they might want the mesh all the way through because you're going to probably try and put a smaller hook through there. There's your option. You can say, hey, I want the Ned with that mesh all the way through. I want to do it, I want to rig it this way. Me, I don't really use Neds for any, any way other than just the typical way of doing it. I haven't tried a, a mini Carolina rig on them. I haven't tried nose hooking them. But believe me, if it goes through that hook, that hook goes through that nose with that mesh, it won't be going anywhere. But it's as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that. You want to get these rigged up for a day of fishing? Just separate them with your scissors. Ooh, definitely got some garlic in there. And I love garlic in my baits. Once you get them to this point, I know I showed you this before, I'll show you again. Just trim it down. Let's go right along the bait, trim that excess material out of there. You've got a, a Ned bait ready to go. And I don't know, you know, with the light, if you can kind of see how the material goes through the middle there, but that will keep your hook locked in. So actually, these Ned lock hooks have a good name for them because with these Ned locks and this, it is locked in there. It ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. There's another one Bill had sent me. And this has the mesh going up the little, not all the way to, quite all the way to the top. So there's a little opening there. I'm not sure what color this is. It looks like that might be a green. Oh, that's a brown. Brown gold flake. That's pretty, that's a cool color. I like that. Then good old black. You can't go wrong with that. I think I showed you that before. Oh, I didn't show you these ones. He made me some June bug ones. Great color. And this one has the mesh going up almost to the top. Not quite. Let me show you that one, yeah. So that's it, guys. That Ned is ready to fish. Chartreuse head. Smallies are probably like that. You're ready to go. And as I said, that is not coming out there. That is tight. That is tight. So if you're, you know, if you're, you know, throwing your Neds and you're, you find you're losing a lot of them, uh, the fish are tearing them up fast. I encourage you to give a try to the Extended Life Baits line. And I will put all the information in the description of the video. Um, I encourage you, if you haven't seen any of them before, uh, watch my other videos. Um, there's other baits you know, I've done videos on. 
uh, that Bill has sent me to show you guys. Um, so, you know, you guys who throw, like throwing stick baits, there you go. So there's a, a nice line um, coming out. Drop shot baits, neds, flipping baits, stick baits. So there you go. So there is your extended life's ned, all ready to go. So I'll give you the information uh, that you can get in contact with um, with Bill and with Paul. Um, and you know, I know for us here in the Northeast, season is slowly winding down. Um, but Ned's in the fall <laughs> can be very good. So if you want to go out and uh, fish this fall some Ned's and not have to use five packs, give them a try. Give them a try. So give them a call. So like I said, I'll put all the information in the uh, description of the video. And you can contact those guys and get some baits and try them out. Okay, so any questions, let me know. Um, but like I say, I encourage you to check my old videos out. That'll show you the whole line and how things have progressed here because this is new for all of us. Um, you know, the guys making the baits and me talking about them, you know, because I know these guys from, from making hair jigs and now we're talking about, you know, soft plastics that that'll that last a long, long time on the hook. All right. So, uh, like I said, any questions, let me know. Um, but, um, you know, the experts are, are Bill and Paul. They can tell you all the details. But give them a call and uh, check them out. That's something that you saw those in my other video. I don't want to go too crazy here. Some of the drop shot things. All right. I'll stop. Um, but like I said, any questions, let me know. See you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.